So no change from the Reserve Bank today, leaving the cash rate unchanged at 2.75%. Market certainly wasn't looking for any change from the Reserve Bank, so today's decision comes as no surprise. If we have a look at what happened since the decision in May when the Reserve Bank did cut by 25 basis points, certainly economic data hasn't been weak enough to warrant uh, follow-up easing from the Reserve Bank. Had the CapEx data that uh, was out in late May and certainly didn't show a deterioration enough to warrant uh, further policy easing. It had uh, the unemployment rate that uh, actually fell down to 5.5%, so labour data a little bit better than expected. And we've also seen the currency decline. So it was 103 roughly um, in early May, did get down to a low of 95.5 cents, currently around 97.20. So it has been something the Reserve Bank's alluded to, just the strength of the Aussie dollar given the decline in commodity prices. That has been a um, little bit stronger than what they've expected. It has come off, but you certainly uh, wouldn't suggest that um, it's been unwarranted. Key things going forward, um, how the actual decline in the currency affects business conditions. So for us, the NAB um, business survey will be a key factor to look at going forward. We'll also be um, waiting for inflation data and we get growth out uh, tomorrow as well. So markets looking for 25 basis points of easing in the next three months. I think that's probably a little bit too soon at this stage. Having said that, I do expect the Reserve Bank to ease monetary policy further, probably in Q4 this year.